Since the new age of the internet, researching information and reading the latest news can be found on the internet with a click of a button. Throughout the years, internet have affected pub paper publishing businesses with the use of free gathering news, info, and worldwide advertisements on websites such as Facebook, YouTube, various blogs, and Twitter. Newspaper businesses, including Toronto Star, New York Times, and the Globe and Mail, have adapted their new service online. Newspaper companies like Rocky Mountain News, by who have not provided their newspaper stories online went out of business back in 2009. Book publishing companies have all turned to their business into e-books and e-reader services. Since then, the internet has been sometimes proven unreliable and has dealt with copyright infringement acts. How has this affected college librarians, professors, and students here at Mohawk College when gathering information on school assignments and not knowing if the online source material is really reliable? We're already seeing that. I mean, here at the uh, college, we don't even have a library anymore. We have something called the Collaboratory, which uh, includes some books and some audiovisual material, but certainly not as much as it used to. Most of the material is online, and the whole issue uh, of not calling it a library, but a place where students can go and collaborate with their, uh, with their laptops. You can hook up your laptops to big screen TVs and work as a group. So, you know, it's not a question of the future. It is now. Well, um, if you... Uh, um, follow, uh, if you read something online and take it as the gospel truth, you're an idiot, first of all, uh, because yes, the rumor mills, rumor mongering can happen through Twitter. You know, Pat Burns died, um, Gordon Lightfoot died, um, all those sorts of things. But if you take it at the gospel truth and not surf around and see whatever, what else other people are saying, I mean, it's just a matter of, of attribution. You, as the reader, have to double check your facts. Now we've got the opinions from the experts, faculty members, and students of Mohawk College themselves on the use of the internet as a reliable source and the future of printed paper. Only time will tell what the fate of the internet will be deemed 100% reliable source will have in store for us. I'm Maurice Cormier, signing off for Mohawk News.